This is my first night back in Costa Rica, in Liberia. I was feeling restless the whole trip. I actually fell asleep on the first flight, which is the first ever. So restless when I got here. Being vigilant constantly, like, trying to figure out where my next meal is and where I'm gonna find a community and where I'm gonna get basic needs met so that like I see, see her selling Rambutan, I'm so laser focused on that and then deciding in my head right now whether or not I'll buy it. Like, that's how intense this formation is. Yo, I found gluten-free empanadas and mini falafels and it's so tidy. Yeah, I just wrote my journal and realized how fucked my mind is. Journaling's awesome. It's a bit like I am Dark Mother. Pregnant with a million demon babies devouring me from the inside out slowly, painfully, piecemeal as I insidiously c covet them as I inspire a million ways to destroy every last shadow child of mine. Hey, so I'm back at the family house in Costa Rica after traveling for eight hours yesterday from Liberia. I've been having a lot of dizziness and racing thoughts and analyzations about this, the journey that I'm, I'm doing, these series of meditations, about the teachings of the guy here. And really, I'm trusting no one right now. I don't trust anyone or anything. And I, I felt so much emptiness and latent anger that I haven't really been able to act on. So it's just been this kind of surrendered, like sub submitted state, especially sitting on the bus all day and traveling so much and going from one place to the next. And it just comes up, just this feeling of emptiness and depression. So, say, so, okay, here it is. I mean, it doesn't last forever, so I know it's just a passing state, but when I'm in it, it's just, it's just like, wow. Like, is this life? Is this, like, what I distract myself from? Also an update. I have the tinida... Tinidazole here. And I got more tea from the healer a couple days ago, but... I'm gonna tea, keep taking that tea, and I'm gonna take these... this... pills now. He told me that he felt it out. He said, yes, these will help you. Except for one of them which is the ivermectin, but I'm still going to do it because it's part of the treatment. I feel it's important to do the whole treatment, not miss a step. Basically getting caught up in the physical 3D world and uh, going through lots of shit because of my mission as a 6D wandering um, light-bearing being. <laughs> As you can see, we got the herb life. All these herbs laid out in this fan. It looks like Darth Vader fan. <laughs> Just, you know, giving, giving them that breathitarian life that they crave and keeping the damn mold off. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm not too moldy. No more syrup left in my bottle, damn. Well, it's okay. I'll top it off with scrambled eggs. You waste time asleep, but I'm, I'm just trying to trace. Hola. So I'm down by the river here. In Londres. I've been doing the meditations at the, the family house. 
It's just all an exploration. Everything that comes up, it's an exploration. I experienced some terror last night. The male body. It was like, just like intense, like, felt like I was coming into contact with my nervous system. It was very similar to ayahuasca. I mean, it came from my vagus nerve. It was like pumping there, and then anxiety in my mind, and my thoughts didn't work, and it's a lot like how I feel when I smoke weed. So I wonder if weed shows me how stressed out I am in my vagus nerve system. I spent some time at the river, I got to bang my chest. Now I feel tired. I'm not digesting anything, but uh, just letting everything flow through me. Still eating and clearing stuff out. And I got to dance with them yesterday. Got to do a shadow release. Like everything I was trying to do elsewhere, pay thousands of dollars to do. To do. It's right here. Ow! Dude, I have holes in my shorts and the ants go into the hole and bite my butthole. Awful. Pachamama, I'm coming home. To the place where I belong. I've been talking to the camera for a few days. I think it's because I have a little community here now. So I can share my experience with more than just the camera. But I realize every day for the last eight years of my life in school, and even after, I'd wake up and have all this stress about what I should do. And then start latching on to different activities that I thought were useful or improved me and just creating a lot of stress and I wasn't actually experiencing life or enjoying it and I'm realizing now like I can wake up and like yes I can just melt into being here like I don't need to drive my activity through shame Following my emotions so intensely in, in my mind over the last few days, it stirred up a lot of like deep, deep stuff from the catacombs. And doing these meditations as well. So, after having gone through it and now being here to speak to this camera, I'm like, whoa, that was really epic. <laughs> I kind of miss it. And it's like, do I, do I really want that? Like, I was just making my bed this morning. I'm like, I'm so grateful just to like, be able to make my bed, make a bed in the morning. Just to do normal shit. And I'm halfway done with these antibiotics I'm taking now. So, I've been going from diarrhea to constipation. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm learning, like, I honestly can't learn anything more from the internet. Every time I look up something about my health in the internet, it's just like... I'm way more scattered and mentally defensive than if I just... Say like, okay, this is what's been happening, this is what has happened. And this is all the factors that could lead to that. But this is happening now, let's just see what happens. Is by obsessing about it? creating this happening and just watch it all and that's I learned way more through that emptiness descends dread impends no more spiritual teachings for me to need to comprehend holding the baby rising he dances our time unfulfilled more hills to, tra to traverse on this wide planet, staying within, a blessing and a curse, fear sent from beyond to show me what life's truly worth.